ओम अम्मा नो द बेसिक्स ऑफ सनातन धर्म एपिसोड ट्वेल्व वॉट इज द रेशने बिहाइंड ऑफरिंग इन टेम्पल्स वाई गॉड रिक्वायर्स दो ऑफरिंग्स डियर फ्रेंड्स when we offer poison that is sweet pudding to god we don't see any deity consuming the poison we are the ones who consume it afterwards rational behind this offerings by offering what we have to the god we develop the attitude of sharing and surrendering by accepting the prasad given at the temples we develop the attitude of accepting everything as god's gifts our desires become lesser and lesser slowly we become compassionate towards others and gradually we grow in oneness dear friends not only that we come into this world without possessing anything we go out from this world without taking anything we know everything that we possess here is of god's so dear friends by offering what is god's to god we are really understanding the philosophy of life god accepts our offerings at the subtle level dear friends there is a episode once a disciple asked his guru thus does god accept our navedyam that is offerings does god really consume the prasadam guruji that's what a disciple asked a guru the guru did not say anything instead asked the student to prepare for sanskrit grammar class the student by hearted the rama shabda that is various case terminations of the word rama so all the boys started practicing after a while the guru came back and asked the very student who had raised his doubt about navedyam to recite the rama shabda that is case terminations without seeing the book which the disciple did now the guru gave a smile and asked this particular disciple did you really memorize everything as it is in the book the shishya said yes guru ji i have recited whatever is written as in the book the guru then asked if you have taken every word into your mind then how come the words are still there in the book guru then explained the words in your mind are in sukshma stiti that is unseen subtle form the words in the book are in this thula stiti that is in the gross form which can be seen which can be perceived god too is in sukshma stiti the offering made to him is done in stula stiti thus the god takes the food in sukshma stiti while god takes it in the sukshma stiti we take it as a prasadam in stula stiti hearing this the shishya understood the meaning of naivedyam dear friends in gita lord krishna says patram pushpam palam toyam <coughs> yome bhakta prayachati if one offers to me with devotion a leaf a flower a fruit or even water i delightfully partake of that article offered with love by the devotee who is pure in heart this is what in ninth chapter 26 sloka lord krishna says to the arjuna this we can see the rice scroll offered by vidura with devotion accepted by lord krishna flattened dry rice 
offered by Sudama was relished by Lord Krishna. Already tasted dried fruits offered by Shabari was eaten by Rama. Lord Shiva accepted everything offered by hunter Kannappa. Anything offered with devotion and love is accepted by God. This is what the Sanatan Dharma tells us. These examples makes us feel that the devotion is prime important when we offer something to the God. God does not need anything from us. What does the Lord of Universe lack? Why should the sun need a candle? When we eat first morsel, it is offered to God. This is the attitude of surrendering and sharing. The farmer prays before sowing the seeds because there is always a limited human effort. Whatever the action, it is made complete through divine grace, says Mata Amrita Randamayi Devi, millions call her affectionately as Amma. Friends, a pot of gold does not need any adornments. God is beauty of beauty. But decorating the beautiful image fills some devotees with joy and cultivate devotion within such people. If a person offers money or jewelry to the deity, it symbolizes his love for God. We give out best to the person whom we love. When we offer to the God, it becomes our expression of love. If a rich person offers his wealth to deity of a temple, he develops the attitude of sharing. And thus the money shall be utilized for public good. And this gesture definitely eliminates the attitude of exploiting others in the society. Dear friends, Amma says a wonderful uh, word, offer to the God the flower of your mind. Your innocent mind without ego is the flower the God prefers. So we, if we offer our heart to the God, then God definitely likes it. That's what Krishna said. Whatever you give to me, I accept it. When you are giving it with devotion. So Whatever offerings we do to the God, it is more important that we give with a pure heart, with love and devotion. It is not what we give, but it is with what attitude we offer to the Lord. Om Lokaha Samastaha Sukino Bhavantu Shanti Shanti Shanti